This is Proverbs chapter 31 and verse 3. Give not thy strength unto woman, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. Barak the Yahweh, Barak the Yahushai, Barak the Yahweh, Barak the Yahushai, Barak the Yahweh, Barak the Yahushai. All praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Rekakadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh has the true name of his only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well for preaching the 100% truth. Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. The nation of Israel consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And if you do not look like a typical black, Hispanic, or Native American, you can still be an Israelite through your father's seed line. And of course, your spirit bears witness. Your spirit's proof. It is evidence that you are a Israelite because you're drawn to this 100% word, which comes out the camp of Great Millstone. You have faith. You accept it. You're not faking it. And you fit the curses of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. I'm the brothers of Carr from the Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp in Philadelphia, PA. And the topic of this video is going to be majority of these women of this world are just traps. Majority of the women of this world are just traps. Snares. A giant trap. Avoid. Be wise. Remember the mission. Remember the goal. Proverbs 31 and verse 3. Give not thy strength unto woman, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. Because the Israelite woman... Today, so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American women, majority of them are wicked. So what's that, wicked? Not following the law, statutes, and commandments. Majority of them don't even, or don't even know they're Israelite. Majority of them are under this Babylon philosophy, okay? Majority of them are going to be destroyed. So as an Israelite man woken up to this truth, Avoid, all right, traps. Be wise. There's a lot of traps in this society, okay, in America, okay? And you need to realize that the Lord, Yahweh, okay, he can take the Holy Spirit away from you and have you like a, a person in this world bug the hell out. He can deny you. And say, get out of my presence. Because you didn't give it your all. And a lot of, and a reason you could not give it your all is because of a woman. A carnal, temporal, wicked woman of this society. Bugged out of her, bugged out of her mind. Believing this place is going to go on forever. Who's trying to put you in a hole. Give not thy strength unto woman, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. Alright? From Solomon to David. Okay? Kings of Israel. Woman. Alright? Train them off the right path. The Lord is going to come back to put a lot of women to death. You need to realize that in the kingdom, you're going to be your real self. You're going to be the actual person you want to be, all righteous. Okay? Spiritual power. Just a God on earth, immortal, everlasting peace. Woman beyond you can fathom. So the woman of this realm we call life, don't fall down that road of woman straying you away from the right path for falling most high the straight gate. Because the majority of these women are traps. Yes, 
there's going to be a lot of women who are going to be saved. But the Most High has to put the spirit on them to get right. Okay? And a lot of these women are not going to get right. Because they're wicked. They're carnal. All they see is America. Okay? A lot of them, all they see is America. They're, they're just addicted to this society. And you don't want to be sucked down that black hole of just the whole world of pleasing and trying to be in the whole realm of um whole realm of um a wicked a, a wicked woman trying to um steer you away from the right path because the most high is going to use the spiritual demon satan okay to use a woman right to get to his men okay because the most high knows is like men okay love woman more than any other man all right these heathen men edomite elamite moabite okay it's like men love women way more than them okay so the mosai as a good tactic to test his men will use women okay so you need to have a strong character examining yourself that what you're doing is a hundred percent effort to the most high standard and you you will never know okay what's 100 percent effort that's why you just have to keep on hoping but don't fall down the that wicked black hole of a woman a wicked a wicked temporal woman of the society all right don't fall down that black hole because it destroys kings all right it destroys kings definition of a woman edema online it says adult female human. This is the point. It says woman. It says female servant. So it says a female servant. A majority of the women of this world serving men the correct way. Well, serving an Israelite man the correct way. No. Majority of women are not serving Israelite man, uh, Israelite man the correct way. Israelite man being so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man. All right. She's under curses. Her eyes could be evil toward, all right, um, her children, her husband, okay? So she's under curses. The spiritual demon Satan is using her, okay? He is using her. Eve, all right? The wicked, infamous Eve, all right? So-called black, Hispanic, Native American woman, all right? So you need to remember the main goal that the Lord is going to destroy America, with a lake of fire, ICBM nuclear missiles, demons, animals breaking out zoos, cannibalism. So many bad things are coming through this globe. Are you really gonna? Are you really gonna let a temporal woman in this society let you get destroyed by the Most High's wrath? You need to ask yourself this. You need to examine yourself to see if the Most High is actually, if you're seeing what you're doing, what you're doing. Um. Um, you in this faith, you need to examine yourself to see what you can do better. All right. And don't let a woman lead you down that black hole. Okay. Cause she can make you a lot of these guys in this society, these niggas, spicks and wetbacks, wicked two third black and spanking Native American men. They're going to get destroyed. All right. For worshiping and being um giving props and praising these wicked is like whores for 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 them being wicked all right a lot of these men are gonna get destroyed two-thirds of nation israel okay because this is a queendom america a woman's society where women are lifted up in a pedestal when they shouldn't be okay they shouldn't be this is a kingdom with the most high put as example of how not things how things shouldn't be ran and that's america woman out on the street walking like nothing bad can happen to them all right but all that's gonna change real soon okay all that's gonna change real soon these women realize how pathetic they are man the most i gonna embarrass them okay the most i gonna put a lot of these wicked Israelite woman to death.
okay, through vast amounts of plagues. All right, so justice is going to be served. Okay, so stay on that path, the right path. Okay, you cannot be all right conformed to this society, what the society wants you to be, because the society wants you to be normal. They want you to be an average day citizen, a so-called black Hispanic Native American coon. All right, that's what they want you to be, not knowing your heritage. All right, worshiping woman. All right trying to please her that's what the society wants you to be and not realize that you're a king a prince of the power waiting for an inheritance from the most high okay trying to be joint heirs of the lord the society doesn't want an islam man to be like that and being a king all right means you're gonna have a servant servants okay and what a female servant is a woman all right a female servant so this society, the way it's being ran, men serving women, it will end. Okay, it will end. All right, and a lot of these women who are going to wake up during the time of Isaiah 4 and 1, they're going to get right real quick when, when things get totally terrible in the society. Okay. They're going to get right. Okay, so so of course you try to make a woman right. You, 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 um... Um, you may um, tell her certain things to do that are scriptural. All right. The Lord, the Most High is going to, he's going to choose what woman to, who he wants to get right or not. Okay. So this truth, this path, this faith, all right, is pointed towards the men. Okay. But the woman, of course, will get right. But the Lord can have a lot of women get right by just seeing Gurgle troops break into the house. By a major disaster happening. A tornado breaks their house. He can get them right in a second. Okay. A real quick second. So don't give all your time trying to. Um, really persecute and get someone right. Who's a woman. Okay. Okay. It's of course. Right. She's pleasing to deal with you. Slaki. Pleasing to dwell with you. Okay. And you're already with her, okay? You're not supposed to just say, "Ah, oh, you um break one, you broke one law, statute, commandment." All right, you broke one law, statute, commandment. Uh, I can't deal with you anymore. That's being over righteous, being simple, okay? Because everyone's not perfect, no one's innocent, okay? But striving to uh, um let these women, uh, um, the most eyes could get them righteous. He's gonna get them righteous. Right during the time of Isaiah 4 and 1. Okay. And they're actually going to be a servant. What they're actually supposed to be. Okay. So stay on the path. The right path. The straight gate. Okay. Because the Most High uses the spiritual demon Satan. To hop on and put demons on. The majority of these women. To put Islam men in the holes. And look at the jail system. You got a lot of these Islam men in jail. For these women, all right, these carnal, wicked women who are right now on their leash, um, laughing about it, all right. But the most size they get them, okay, when they least expect it, like a thief in the night, which will be a great, glorious time, all right. The wicked, these wicked women are gonna be no, <laughs> they're gonna know that, um, their looks, their uh, um, loud mouth, it doesn't get them anywhere, all right, it's just carnal. And it's going to be, and they're going to hate looking good during that time. Okay. They're going to hate, uh, um, the, the way they were projecting themselves all their life. Okay. Because it's going to soon turn to be against, it's going to soon turn not in their favor. All right. Cause these men are going to have a lot of things they want to dish out to these wicked women. Okay. So of course. Do not be attached to anything in this society except the word, right? Because this word is going to be able to save you, this doctrine, okay? Being addicted, all right, to this word, being stubborn for this word, okay? Of course, the Most High is going to save you through his son, all right? But this word is the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, all right? Seeking this word, okay? You have to remember, this is reality. 
The reality is America is going to be destroyed. Okay? Everything is going to be a wasteland. You need to remember what you're doing. You got to remember your goal. Okay? You got to remember your goal. The reason why... The reason why... The Lord called you to do this business. All right? Because just because you're called doesn't mean you're chosen. All right? And that's the scary thing about it. But the Most High wants certain men to realize that so they can do better. Okay? So they can keep on going. All right? And push more. Because not every man who says, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Okay? So examine yourself. See if a... Anything in the whole realm of woman is holding you back. All right. Is it holding you back? Is the Lord really pleased with what you're doing the whole realm of woman? Okay. Because they are traps. And the thing is, they know they are too. And the thing is, they allow them to be wicked on purpose. All right. Which is which completely satanic. Okay. Servant on Google. Actually, let's get definition. Servant definition. It says a person who performs duties for others, especially a person employed in a house or domestic duties, or as a personal attendant. So these women are supposed to be servants to their husband. A personal attendant. Okay. Trained from their youth. Okay. To guide the house. Wear modest apparel, okay? Serve their husband, trained from their mothers, okay? Then, of course, their father sells them off to a a, um, a spouse for them. But these women don't go through those customs, is like customs anymore. Or these women are complete wicked whores, okay? So remember that, don't. These the Lord is the most I ain't dealing with majority of these women. He's waiting to put these women to death. It's gonna be a glorious day, all right. So why are you gonna be why are you gonna spend all your time, all right, um investing in something that's gonna be put to death? Okay? Because that what that's what the wicked two thirds do. Two thirds um um, two thirds in heathens, heathen men, right? They can do whatever they want to do with these women of this society, okay? Because majority of these women, like I said, are gonna go through horrific times. But of course, the elect woman will go through the fire, all right, and be saved. This is First Ezra, yeah, First Ezra chapter four and verse twenty-six. Yea, many there be that have run out of their wits for woman and become servants for their sakes all right so run out of their wits what is wits you may ask wit on enemaonline.com mental capacity understanding in intellect sense knowledge consciousness conscience this is knowledge intelligence mind understanding okay it says to know so mental capacity, that's the point. All right, so many has run their wits for women, their mental capacity, okay, not on their A game, not as sharp as they want to be, okay? Guys falling out because they get a woman, all right, that they never thought they'll get before, all right? The guy wants to go back in the world to get a woman, all right? That's a weak beta mind frame. The most is not dealing with those guys. Okay. Don't let nothing get between the crown of the Lord crowning all right, the elect. Which is harder, okay, than it's of course it's it's easier said than done. But of course, with the strength of the strength that the most high gives you, any anything's possible. Because the most high can make you a completely new creature. Okay, so you have to pray and fast. Okay, keep praying to the Most High. All right? So you can keep going down that straight gate and leveling up, not plateauing, keep on going. Okay? Because things are just going to get more harder. 
okay? So you need to get better. Examine yourself, okay? Don't fall down that black hole of a woman in Babylon, okay? First Timothy 2 and 12, but I suffer not a woman to teach nor to observe, observe authority over the man, but to be in silence. For Adam was first formed, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Now, withstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. Okay. So it says, for Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. She's the weaker vessel. All right. The spiritual demon Satan loves hopping on to these women and controlling them. All right. So they can, of course, tempt and try and mess with you and bug you. Okay. To vast amounts of avenues. Okay. You have to realize that this life we're living in as an Islamic man is a test. It's not our actual prosperity lives. Okay. These heathens can enjoy all the benefits of this society okay this crumbling america these heathen women they can do whatever the hell they want to do the most i ain't dealing with them these are uh, um um majority of these is like women right they can do what they want to do because during that party and love babylon spirit these two-thirds of the nation israel men okay they can do what the hell they want to do because during that party and love babylon spirit but the elect, this is a test. It's a trial. Okay, when you go to a, take a test all right, at school, okay, it's testing you to see what you know. All right, from the whole from the class, whatever you're studying, that certain period of time. Okay, what are we studying? All right, to rehearse the righteous acts for the most high. So we can get out of this place known as America. So we can receive salvation. So we can be all righteous, get new bodies. All right. Get a kingdom where we actually can be all righteous and perfect finally. Okay. So really look at all your goals and examine see or even let this wicked temporal woman, this society is like woman, a heathen, uh, uh, um, a heathen woman ruin all of that. Are you really going to let a is like woman ruin ruin all of that? Let you get destroyed with a nuclear missile. Come on, man. You got to grow up. Okay. You got to just examine. Look at the bigger picture of this world. Okay. The most I called you to be not ordinary. Okay. You're not the ordinary male. All right. In this faith. Okay. These people can be ordinary. Right. Majority of people. The world to come is for few. This world's for many. Everyone's normal. They can be normal here. Well, you're not ordinary. And your flesh, of course, your flesh is going to make you feel very, um, very in a, a loser state for not being like these other people. Okay. Your flesh can make you feel like a, like a, um, like a outcast, just like a complete pathetic loser. All right. But it's your flesh. It's the spiritual demon Satan trying to get in your head. Just fight him with the Lord. All right. Of course, it's easier said than done, but you can still do it. You got to try. You got to try. Okay. Don't fall down that spiral of these women. King David went through it. King Solomon went through it. And King Solomon, all right, was the Lord Yahweh Shai in one of his past lives. Okay. He was the Lord who you will call Jesus Christ. Yes. All right. He was King Solomon as one of his reincarnations. All right. With many, many women, strange women at that too. Okay. So let me get, of course, let me actually, let me get it. Oh, I already have it. But first Kings chapter 11, verse four, for it came to pass when Solomon was old, that his wives turned away his heart. So his heart being his mind. Okay. After other gods. And his heart was not perfect with the Lord. His power. Lord, his power. Yes, lucky. As was the heart of David, his father. Okay. So Solomon. 
okay, had his mind strayed from the right path because of what his wives, right? And he had 700 wives and 300 concubines, okay? So that's just an just example that is like men, of course, we want to be fruitful and multiply. We want to be the alphas we are, but we can't do it in this society. Esau condemns you. <laughs> Esau, he doesn't push out the practice of having multiple women in this society. Okay. He doesn't push that out. All right. Esau is wicked, all right? His rules are against the scriptures, okay? So Solomon's wives turned away his heart, all right? His mind, okay? So if they turned away Solomon's mind, all right, of course, you can. this is an example. He can turn away any one of us brothers who are in this faith, okay? So remember that. Remember your goal. Remember there's a bigger picture outside of this temporal place known as America, okay? This is not your rest, all right? There's way more glory for you to come, all right? Getting vengeance on wicked heathens, all right? That's way better than this temporal holding cell known as America. Second Samuel... Chapter 11, verse 1. Now, this is about David, okay, the father of Solomon. It says, And it came, to, it came to pass after the year was expired, at the time when kings go forth to battle, that David sent Joab and his servants with him, and all Israel, and they destroyed the children of Ammon, and besieged Rahab, but David tarried still at Jerusalem. And it came to pass in the evening tied that david arose from off his bed and walked upon the roof of the king's house and from the roof he saw a woman washing herself and the woman was very beautiful to look upon okay so david spied a woman washing herself it says that she was very beautiful to look upon it says and date and look what he did and david sent and inquired after the woman and one said is not this Bathsheba? the daughter of Eliam, the wife of Uriah the Hittite. And David sent messengers and took her. And she came in unto him, and he lay with her, for she was purified from her uncleanly, uncleanness, like uncleanness, and she returned unto her house. And the woman conceived and sent and told David, said, I am with a child. All right, and if you keep reading, all right, David ordered... Okay, the execution of Uriah the Hittite, okay? The husband of Bathsheba, okay? So David committed adultery, right? The king of Israel committed adultery, right? So that's the most High showing he can make anybody stray their mind and go down the wrong path from David to Solomon, okay? Like I read in the beginning, give not thy strength unto woman, Woman being a female servant. Why are you going to give your strength to the servant? Give your strength to your master, the Most High. Give not thy strength unto woman, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. Okay? You have to please your master in Babylon, which is the Most High, which is the Lord. Okay? That's first. That's the priority. Fear the Most High, what He's going to do to you if you don't go down that path. All right? Majority of these women are traps. So avoid them. Why would you want to step you, uh, um, step into a bear trap? Why would you want to step into a, a mouse trap? Okay? Be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. Okay? Of course, if you're with a woman... Or I'm not saying to just dump her, okay? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying these women, the Most High uses the spiritual de demon Satan to jump on them, okay? From um, the woman you're dealing with to, yeah, yeah, it could be your daughter, your sister, your mother, your grandma, anybody, okay? All these women, okay? 
Because the elect women are going to be revealed. And the most is going to reveal who they are. Okay. It could be a surprise of who you. It could be. It could be any. Who the Mossad chooses. All right. Because he chooses certain men. So he's going to choose certain women. All right. And a lot of these women who are chosen. Of course. It can come during the latter time. More close to the. Um. Um. More basically when other chaos breaks loose, he can just have a lot of women just wake up real quick. Okay. So let's get some more. This is Ecclesiasticus, Sirach chapter 2 and verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So serving the Lord, you're going to be tempted. It's just reality. Okay. You're not going to go a clean route all the way to a chariot, nothing bad ever happening to you. That's fantasy, all right? You're going to be tempted. You're going to have L's. Your flesh is going to feel like a loser in this society, okay? You're going to have L's. But you have to keep on going. You have to keep, don't let your sins weigh you down. You have to keep on going. Keep on fighting, all right? Go back to the drawing board, the game plan, pray and fast and hope the most high is going to make you just bulldoze through these trials. Okay. This is my son. If thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thine heart aright and constantly endure. That's the key. Constantly. All right. You got to constantly do it. Endure. And make not haste in time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away. That thou may mayest be increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. For gold is tried in fire. So if you want to be gold, the Lord is going to try you so you can be gold. Okay? He's going to put you in the fire. He's going to put you in the furnace. And accept a man in the furnace of adversity. Okay? Believe in him, and he will help thee. So you actually got to believe. All right, believe 100% that the Lord is going to help you. You got to trust in him with all your might that he's going to fix you, that he's going to help you become that good vessel that's ready for salvation when utter chaos breaks loose, that you have no regrets, that you feel like you gave it your all, okay? And not a woman holding you back in a certain aspect, okay? In the whole realm of a woman in the society, okay? It says, believe in him and he will help thee order thy way aright and trust in him. Okay. Next precept. First John 2 and 15, of course. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So if you love this society the way it's being ran, the love of the Father is not in you. Plain. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passes away, so this place is going to go away. Why are you going to love this place if it's going to go away? All right? In the lust thereof, be slaki, in the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of Yahweh abideth forever. So the will of the Most High abides forever. It's a it's a everlasting, okay? Because in the kingdom we're still gonna be doing the will of the Most High forever and ever and ever and ever. So put your trust in something that's everlasting, not temporal. Choose life, don't choose death. Cause it's the most embarrassing thing to let a woman take your crown. You to get destroyed. Receive your worst nightmare because of a woman. That's not a king mind frame. So you have to you have to call on the Lord. This is Second Timothy chapter two and verse three. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. When soldiers go up to battle, they don't have their wife next to them. All right, they don't have a woman in their arms. Okay. Their woman's back at home. Okay? Because women are distractions. A majority of them. These wicked women. These society. And the Lord. is going to put these distractions to death. Okay? It says. No man that wharf and take himself with the affairs of this life. That he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. 
So the affairs of this life, okay? Oh, let's get married. Let's have um, a Dalmatian and um, let's have a perfect lifestyle in this prairie, okay? You seeking to have a family and a perfect lifestyle in this society, have 10 kids, all right, and to see all their graduations, that's not a realistic good mind frame to be in. Because America's going to be destroyed. They can be destroyed next year, the year after that. It's going to be destroyed quickly. All right? The most I can push it 10 years if he wants. But still, you trying to build and be comfortable at your peak in this society, that's a not that's not a good mind frame to be in. All right? Okay? We're, we're just soldiers waiting for our Lord to return. So he can destroy America and take us out of it. That's all we are. We're just vessels of Most High, Lord willing, the prophets. Okay, we were called, Lord willing, we're part of the chosen. But we have to show and act like a chosen would act. Okay? All right? Um, separate from this world, holy like the Heavenly Father. Okay? Not letting anything conform to your goal, conform you to your absolute goal, which is salvation. This is Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart. For this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It's, it, sh it shall destroy you even for sore destruction. This place is polluted. These women are polluted. These women are wicked. These women are whores. These women are loud mouth. These women are, majority of them are completely satanic. All right. And they're just vessels that the most I is going to wait. Can't wait to crumble. All right. All right, just demons. It says, it shall destroy you even for sword destruction. Micah 7.10. And this is the reality of a lot of women that's going to come upon them. Okay, Micah 7.10. Then she that is mine enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy power? So where is your God? Okay. Who's the God you believe in, all right? I don't know what God you're serving, okay? It says, where is the Lord thy power? My eyes, mine eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets, okay? Trodden down as the mire of the streets. Just getting completely uh, um, wrecked out here during World War III, okay? This will be a lot of these women's reality because they'll realize that them not being righteous, okay, cost them their life. Them rejecting the Most High, okay. So you you know that, all right. If you're a righteous Israelite man, okay, of course, you know what's gonna come to these women, all right. You don't want to let a woman stray down that path to you betting being receiving your worst nightmare judgment, being condemned by the Most High, saying, "Ah, oh, I'm not gonna deal with him," all right. He didn't actually put in, put forth his effort and really show that he loved me, okay? By following his, following the Lord's commandments. That's a scary sight to be in, okay? So you got to constantly examine yourself and keep on loving up, all right? Of course, your flesh is going to say, don't do it. It's too hard. Don't do it. Your flesh, Satan is going to tell you, nah, just relax. Take a rest. It's all easy. No, but rebuke that wicked satanic demon, okay? Rebuke him. All right. Okay. Because when destruction comes, you need to want, you want to be 100% ready. You want to feel like there's nothing holding you back. You want to feel like the most size with you 110%. Okay. So you can, when other chaos breaks loose, so you can look up to the sky and be like, all right, the most size brought me through a lot of things. So when now when these things break break off, World War Three, all right, concentration camps are offered the microchip, our temptation. I hundred percent feel the Lord got my back, all right, and He's gonna have the elects back. Whoever trusted the Lord and who who trusted the Lord and was confounded, okay. So you gotta give it your A game. This is Isaiah four and one, and this is the reality of. Um, the elect woman, okay, not majority of women, all right, majority of women are going to receive bad times, but 
certain woman the most I choose this, this could be the reality. Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. So is it actually going to be seven women? Okay, no, it's not going to be seven women. It can be 10. It can be 20. It can be 30. Okay, it's just amount. All right, so amount of women cleaving onto one man. Saying we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our approach. Okay, so we will make our own food. Okay, we will wear We will make our own clothes. You don't need to worry about anything. Can we just please stay with you? We don't want to be destroyed. Okay, cleaving onto you. All right, like you're a magnet. Okay, because these, the chosen man will be um, like fine gold, precious as fine gold. Okay. The most precious resource. All right. And that's this would be the reality of a lot of these women. Okay. Realizing that the way of their life. Okay. Thinking that uh, I can, uh, I can, man, I don't, should I, if I, I, well, I can bag a, um, it's like a so called black Spanish Native American if I want, or I can just live a life by myself. They're going to realize the only way. You have to cleave on to his like, man, okay? There's no shortcuts with these women trying to jump into a chariot by themselves, okay? Oh, I, I want to beg him, but I can't not, uh, I, I can't bow down myself to a man. That's too much for you, me, okay? Well, the Lord's going to, well, that's not going to be the reality of it, okay? If you're in that mind frame, okay, a lot of these, like I kept saying, a lot of these wicked women will be put to death. Okay, but certain are going to just get with the program because of extreme fear. What else can she do? All right. She's going to get right. A lot of these women just need the fire under their ass so they can get right. Okay. So they can just get right. Okay. It's not going to be up to their opinion. It's going to be up to, oh, should I, do I want to die or not? Of course, they don't want to get be tortured. So they're going to try, they're going to be drawn to a man. Okay, who's just maneuvering all the destruction, the chosen vessel of the Most High. Okay, it's gonna be evident who the Most High's chosen is. Okay, it's gonna be evident. All right, so this is 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5. Examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith, prove your own selves, know ye not your own selves, that how that ye how shy Mashiach is in you, except ye be reprobates. Okay, so examine yourself. Okay, daily examinations. Okay, look at your track record. Look at where you're going. Look at your current state. Okay, and really um, ask yourself: Is the Most High? Uh, um, is He um, pleased with my um, current state of how I'm act of my current state of being in this reality? Okay. Is a woman, is that wicked vortex of a woman sucking me down the wrong path? Okay. Making me not serve my power to the best of my ability. Okay. Because the best of your ability, only the most high knows that. And that's like, I, I keep stressing that. Only the most high knows what the best of your ability is. Okay. You even know that. Okay. That's why this thing's all about hope. So next precept. Matthew 7 and verse 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Okay? Not many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? In thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. And then I'll profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. So that this is the scariest for the Lord to say, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Okay. That's, that's like saying, it's just saying, get get the hell in my face. All right. You work iniquity. Sin on top of sin on top of sin on top of sin. Okay. So through, terror, through the terror, the Lord, we persuade men. Okay. So don't let a wicked woman draw you down that spiral of death. All right. King Solomon, all right, his wives steering his heart. David committing adultery. Okay. Yes, it can happen. 
All right. You can be destroyed by a woman in this society and not receive salvation. OK, so know that in your mind and try to and, and, and just know that and know that the most I could take the Holy Spirit away from you and just 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 put on the overdrive. All right. Put on the nuclear um, socket, uh, the turbo boost. OK. And just cleave to the most high even closer all right than you are than you were already doing okay so this is matthew chapter 5 verse 48 be therefore perfect as even as your father which is in heaven is perfect okay so the lord's perfect the most high yahabashmi okay he never lies okay he's eternal all righteous perfect that's our goal. So it can be perfect like him, but that's going to be in the kingdom being changed in the twink of eye. But of course, we have to rehearse the righteous acts so we can become closer to that perfect standard, getting closer and closer and closer and closer. But we're, of course, we're not going to achieve it, but we have to keep getting closer and closer. All right. Because you do not want to be part of this. Okay, your eyes consuming, just melting away, all right, in your socket. You melting away with extreme pain beyond this realm. You don't want to be part of this for this, okay? A Israelite woman, okay? There's a bigger picture to this world, all right? Don't be simple. Go down the straight gate. Lord willing, this veil is edifying to the elect of the sheep of the Most High. The elect sheep of the Most High, yeah. The pasture of the Most High's flock. Slock, yeah. Flock of the Most High's pasture. What am I talking about? <laughs> All praises to Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Bahashim Rakakadash, utter peril and calamity to America, to the wicked. To all these wicked, wicked women, all right, to the society, the ways being ran, just death to the wicked, all right, the forces of evil. And Shalom to the elected nation Israel, Yasharala, Shalom.